Well, a big matchup between Notre Dame and Clemson at the Cotton Bowl is almost here. Stakes are high with a trip to the national championship game on the line. And today was media day with both teams speaking up about the upcoming showdown. Center 16's Alex Wilcox was on hand to speak with several Irish leaders, and he joins us now live from Dallas. Alex? Yeah, Terry, I'm not sure if you can uh, hear the band playing behind me, but it, it definitely sounds like game day, a full 48 hours before Notre Dame and Clemson kick off here in Dallas at the Cotton Bowl. The Clemson band getting all warmed up uh, for the big game on Saturday. But today it was media day as we got to talk to both Clemson and Notre Dame players and coaches ahead of what is easily the biggest game any of Notre Dame's players have ever played in. I sat down and talked with Notre Dame junior cornerback Julian Love ahead of easily the biggest game that he's ever played in and what he thinks he can do to get quarterback Trevor Lawrence to throw him an interception. Julian, we're just a couple days away from game day. Just how excited are you? <laughs> I'm so excited. You know, this is a great opportunity. We're having fun this week. Uh, and, you know, we've been getting after these past couple practices. And you know, that's what you want to see. You want to see the competitiveness kind of getting back, you know, everybody getting loose. And most importantly, we're going to have fun Saturday. And that's what's going to lead us to be successful. You've gotten a couple practices here at AT&T Stadium, Jerry World, the Giants scoreboard, all of that. Uh, just what's your impressions of this place? Oh, I mean, this is the best of the best. <laughs> it's one of the best stadiums I've ever played in, obviously. Uh, and they do such a good job with taking care of the field. It's amazing, and you know, they do such a good job with us. I think that's what goes into it as well. Not just the stadium, but the staff that's been taking care of us this whole week. I, I mean, they deserve a lot of you know credit because they've made it so I mean so easy and so fun really this week. Now that you've been deep into the Clemson prep, all the film study and all of that stuff, how much of a challenge is Trevor Lawrence and that offense going to be? Yeah, I mean, they're very talented and they're uh, very well-rounded. I think, you know, when you think of the receivers, a run game, you know, the quarterback, I think that's what you see when you, when you watch the film. They have talent, but they spread out the talent very well. Um, and spread out the use of their offense very well. And I think that the challenge is just being locked into your assignment. Um, make sure everybody's taken care of and just really being aggressive. I think that's kind of what when we're at our best is when we're really attacking teams and that's what we're going to get to on Saturday. You know, when you see that uh, Clemson has a true freshman quarterback in Trevor Lawrence, a year ago he's playing in high school. He's only played something like nine games in his career. Does that make you think like, hey, we may be able to bait this guy into something? Yeah, I mean, that's what you want to happen for sure, uh, <laughs> to attack young quarterbacks, to make them think. That's what we're going to do. I mean, we are very experienced defense, and so we're comfortable, you know, changing some things up. And that's our, you know, that's our plan. That's our goal, uh, and and just making it tough. And that's all you can do, you know, for young quarterbacks is make them really think, you know, that extra step. Um, and that's kind of our plan. What's going to be the key to this game? Ooh, the key to this game, obviously, is stopping the run for us, uh, establishing, stopping the run, establishing run for us, and you know, just really at the winning at the point of attack. I think being aggressive and you know, not backing down from anything, and just having fun. Uh, you know, when we're having fun, hooting and hollering, I mean, that's when we're playing some ball, and so that's the goal. You just heard from Notre Dame cornerback Julian Love. At 5 o'clock, we heard from Irish defensive lineman Jerry Tillery. Coming up at 6 o'clock, I did a one-on-one -on -one with the heart and soul of the defense, linebacker Drew Tranquil. We'll hear from Drew on what it has meant to him to be playing in this game and to win the Warfel Trophy, as well as the fact that he's feeling healthier than he has at any point this season. That's all coming up at 6 o'clock. For now, reporting live in Dallas, covering Notre Dame in the college football playoff, Alex Wilcox, News Center 16. Alex, thanks a lot. Thank you very much.